I'm wondering if, as you say, the economy is quickly approaching that, that sweet spot for the Fed, which is price stability and uh, economic growth at the same time, why you, would, why you would think we would need to cut rates? Why not just leave them where they are if it's, if it's coming in, slotting in nicely? Well, the Fed's got uh, two objectives, uh, Tyler. One is to achieve full employment. The other is low and stable inflation. And we're there, or pretty pretty darn close on uh, on uh, the economy on, on full employment, three and a half to four percent. We're at full employment on inflation. You know, we're within spitting distance, two two and a half percent on the core PC, three six twelve month annualized. Inflation expectations are well anchored. Financial conditions are right where you want them. So then you got to ask yourself the question: If we're there, why a five point five percent unemployment? Uh, excuse me, a federal funds rate. I mean, that's well above any estimate of the equilibrium rate, R star, you know, the rate that's consistent with monetary policy and either supporting or restraining growth. Fed puts that at two and a half. It's probably higher than that. Let's say it's three or three and a half. So why do that and run the risk? And growth is, it feels, you know, like it's slowing, particularly in the labor market. Hiring is down, hours are down, temp jobs are down, quit rates are down. The only thing that's keeping it, you know, moving forward is the low layoff rate. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, we are starting to see, uh, you know, signs of slowing in, in terms of overall economic growth. So, and, and of course, the, the financial mm -hmm. markets are under a lot of pressure when rates are this high and the yield curve is inverted. So why? Why take the risk? Uh, you know, when, when just declare victory, we're there. So Mark says, Steve, uh, why take the risk? Why, why keep rates as high as they are, higher than what the mm -hmm. Fed would describe as an equilibrium, equilibrium rate? Uh, so what's your reaction there? Well, I, I think on the other side, what one would argue is that you're not playing for this year or even the next several months. You're playing long term here. Remember what Volcker did. It echoed over decades by bringing, bringing inflation out of the system. And I tend to think Powell is playing for a, a longer game here. Um, and that if you were to go back and, and, and essentially uh, start cutting rates, inflation were to kick back up again, the trouble you'd have is you would not convince people of the seriousness of what you're doing. Uh, Mayor Daly just did a speech called uh, Built to Last, and she meant an inflation decline or inflation levels that are built to last. Um, and, and so you get the sense that the Fed is playing a bit of a longer term game here. Mark is right, but I think maybe Mark maybe underestimates the upside here. The upside here is if you wring inflation out of the system, you convince businesses and consumers that the Fed is serious about its target, that could have benefits over many, many years.